students in today's video i'll explain the topic ionization of acids and bases okay ionization is a process where acids and bases get dissociates into different ions when you are adding to water so in order to understand the ionization process more clearly we must know the different the uh, definitions of acids proposed by various theories so in this video i'll explain about arrhenius acid and base Lewis acid and base and Bronsted acid and base. So firstly, let us see about Arrhenius acid and base. So according to Arrhenius theory, acids are the substances that dissociates in water to give H plus ions. Okay. So for example, I am taking HCl. This HCl, when I add it to water, it gives H plus and Cl minus ions. So as it is producing H plus ions, we call it as acid. So same HCl when you are adding to water. It gives H plus ions. Now these H plus ions are highly unstable or more reactive in nature. These H plus ions readily reacts with water molecules present in the container and produces H3O plus ions. H3O plus is called as hydronium ion. Along with this, there is a production of Cl minus ions. So when water you are adding, it gives H plus ions or H3O plus ions. And now we can say that bases are the substances that dissociates in water to give OH minus ions. So, for example, I am taking NaOH, sodium hydroxide. When I add this to water, aqueous indicates water presence. So, when you are adding to water, it gives Na plus and OH minus ions. So, as it is producing OH minus ions, when you are adding to water, it is called as a base. So now, let us see about Bronsted acid and base. It's coming to our second concept that is Bronsted Lowry acids and bases. So, according to this theory, according to Bronsted and Lowry, the acid is a substance which is capable of donating protons, which is capable of donating H plus ions and base is a substance which is capable of accepting H plus ions. So simply, we can say proton donor is acid, proton acceptor is base. So, by seeing this chemical equation, you can understand more clearly. So, ammonia and H3. And you can see H2O water. Ammonia, when it is added to water, it is producing ammonium ion. Along with this, there is a production of OH minus ion. So, this ammonia is reacting with water. So, here water is dissociates into H plus and OH minus. So, here water is giving H plus ion to the ammonia. Hence, it is called as acid. Okay. And base, here ammonia is accepting H plus ions. Ammonia is acting as a proton acceptor, hence it is called as base. Okay, so here water is acid and ammonia is base. So ammonia is converting into NH4 plus, that is ammonium ion by accepting H plus from water. And H2O by donating proton and it is converting into OH minus ion. So here this we can observe that here conjugate acid is obtained by adding one proton to ammonia base and conjugate base is obtained by losing one proton from water that means here conjugate acid and base pair differs in only one proton okay let us see about lewis acids and bases so according to lewis acid is a substance or species which accepts electron pair and base is a substance or species which donates electron pair so you can see here BF3 and ammonia, okay, boron trifluoride and ammonia. If you observe, boron trifluoride is having a trigonal shape. Boron is atomic number of boron is 5 and its electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p1. In the excited state, one electron from 2s will jump to 2p. So 2p is having two unpaired electrons, 2s is having one unpaired electron. These three unpaired electrons forms a bond with three fluorine atoms and forms a trigonal planar structure. Still, there is a vacant orbital to accept electrons from ammonia. As it is accepting electrons, it is called as a Lewis acid. As ammonia is donating electrons, it is called as a Lewis base. So, they combine together and forming a new structure, BF3 and H3. So, now you got a clear idea about Definition of acid and base. So now, if I consider an acid, when I add this water, it breaks into different ions. So for example, HA as an acid, when I add this to water, it breaks into H plus and A minus. So we can write the dissociation constant or equilibrium constant for this reaction. 
is equals to Ka is an equilibrium constant or dissociation constant. It is equals to products concentration by reactants concentration. You can see products H plus concentration, A minus concentration by HA concentration. Okay, so here A indicates acid, dissociation constant or equilibrium constant of acid. So if we consider same way base, it undergoes dissociation in water. So BOH as a base, if I add to water, B plus, it gives into B plus and OH minus ions. So products concentration by reactants concentration is dissociation constant. So KB is equals to dissociation constant of base is equals to B plus concentration OH minus concentration by BOH concentration. So this is the way of writing dissociation constant or equilibrium constant for acids and bases. Okay, this is completely about different definitions of acids and bases and ionization of acid and base. Thank you so much for watching.